welcome to the channel this video is about small curling and deformed leaves on watermelon peperomia what it means how to fix it and what I've actually done for my plant so keep watching if you have the same problem with your watermelon peperomia if you are thinking of getting this plant I think it will be handy to have this information to help you in your plant care so this is my watermelon peperomia or peperomia argyriae is probably one of the most popular peperomias around I got this plant eight months ago from a lovely plant shop called the plant foliage um, here in Adelaide and it is still in its original 12 centimeter pot this plant received the same amount of care as my other house plants it has been sitting on this shelf about a meter away from the window and I have been careful with the water because uh, I know it's prone to root rot and um, it is still in its original potting medium I think it's cocoa peat and I have not changed this at all as you can see the stems are quite long and they're starting to look leggy and the new leaves coming out are really small some are curling and some are deformed apparently there are a couple of reasons why this is so it can either be too much or too little of one thing these are what I have learned so far now the usual reason for curling leaves is when the soil is left too dry from under watering what happens is the plant compensates by moving water from their leaves to other parts of the plant thus you end up with curling leaves if you check the soil and water the plant well regularly then you might avoid having this problem and you also need to make sure that you're watering the plant well all the way down until you see the water flowing out of the pot on the other hand over watering can also cause root rot and when this happens the leaves can also curl and with root rot the plant's root system is damaged and the plant is unable to absorb the water and nutrient it needs if it is an early case of waterlogged pot moving the plant in a well ventilated area and letting the soil dry out may be enough worst case scenario you may have to take out the whole plant trim off the dead roots and repot with fresh soil i honestly don't think watering is my problem i confess i have left this plant um, dry at times but that situation was transient and when the plant was well hydrated it did plump up again the leaves can also curl if the plant is left in an area with high intensity direct light the plant may also end up with brown burnt leaves move the plant to an area with bright indirect light the leaves can also curl if the watermelon peperomia is not getting enough light um, it becomes leggy and the new leaves are smaller than the older leaves now this sounds like my peperomia I do think this plant could do with a bit more light as a guide the more variegated the leaves are on our peperomias the more light they need compared to other varieties with fully green leaves so moving this plant to an area closer to the window with bright indirect light should solve this problem Curling leaves may also be an indication of an imbalance of nutrients in the plant. The watermelon peperomia does not need a lot of feeding and is easy to over fertilize. In this case, you can easily um, dilute further whatever liquid fertilizer you're using to correct this issue. On the other hand, if the cause is a nutrient deficiency, then uh, using a weak concentration of a balanced liquid fertilizer will be the cure. Uh, but only after you have ruled out other causes of curling an infestation of pests that destroys the root system of the plant can also be the cause of curling leaves if this is what you suspect a product like neem oil or eco oil sprayed onto the plant may be the solution i've checked this plant's leaves stems under the leaves and the top soil and i have not seen evidence of pest infestation but it may be further down the roots I'm not really sure unfortunately I don't have a crystal ball to tell me what the problem is but my best guess is that it is low on nutrients and the liquid fertilizer I'm using is not providing enough of that nutrient and I may be wrong but I'm worried that if I don't do anything I may end up with a pot of shriveled up watermelon peperomia and worse a dead plant 
so my plan is to repot this into a new pot and take some leaf cuttings and propagate that in soil as a backup plan and place it in a brighter spot if you have the same problems with your watermelon peperomia, I hope that you find out what's causing it and also fix it in time. Hopefully, we'll have watermelon peperomias with leaves as wide as our palms. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and press the like button and I'll see you in my next video.